Hello everyone, this is Natasha Plazaki from Art Recipes and More. Today I'm excited to share with you a project that is part of an international YouTube hub. Twelve artists from all over the world are sharing creations together with lots of tips and techniques. Since we all love purple, we decided to make it the main color in our projects. We go live today, the first day of summer, and this hop is a celebration of the most shiny and cheerful season of the year. So, welcome to Purple Vibes! Please read all the info very carefully, because you can have the chance to win some amazing gifts from our awesome sponsors. Also, some of the artists are offering giveaways, so make sure you get the fullest out of this adventure. For this hop, I decided to create a mixed media canvas. I sculpted a face coming out of a mirror as my focal point, and to create it, I used Femolite air dry clay and some iron orchid design molds. My canvas measures 8 inches by 23.5 inches. You can find a full list of supplies in the description box under this video. For this project, I was very much inspired by the art of a well-known painter and illustrator, Alphonse Mucha, who was one of the major representatives of Art Nouveau, an artistic style that flourished in the early 1900s. As I am always fascinated by natural textures, I decided to use pastes that give a very organic stone-like finish. I chose to combine pumice and limestone by Finavar and used them with a couple of different stencils to create a more interesting background. In Art Nouveau, artists drew inspiration from both organic and geometric forms, evolving elegant designs that united flowing, natural forms resembling the stems and blossoms of plants. Also, emphasis was given on linear contour. I added several metal embellishments and clear art pebbles in various sizes, which I glued with Finavar heavy body gel. As a primer for the face, I used a mixture of wet gesso and brown acrylic paint. I also added mineral powder by Pentart in order to create some texture. As you will see later on, I used a light brown basis to the whole project. After experimenting for some time, I have concluded that a warm brown basis helps me work with cool and warm colors much better than a white or black basis, especially when I wish to have a vintage look on my project. A brown base layer is the best way to start. It tones down the more vibrant and saturated colors and gives me the warm aged look I'm aiming for. I decided to use mists by Tetrit Angels and Lindy's Gang because I love the shimmer finish they give. I chose different shades of purple and blue-green colors, which make a wonderful combination. But because mists are totally transparent, I needed a solid foundation to build on. So first, I used red 
and blue acrylic paints to make a rich blue-purple layer. I went a bit darker on the edges of my canvas by adding just a tiny bit of raw sienna. color the face, I used metallic acrylic paints by Finovar in gold and pink, which I combined with mists and blue acrylic paint to create a light purple color. I painted one half of the face gold and the other half purple, and blended the two colors in the middle. I used dark blue to create the shadows on the purple side, and brown for the shadows on the golden side. Now, it was time to have some fun. My youngest daughter, Isabella, decided to give her own touch to the project. Together, we created many layers of colors by using Tattered Angels and Lindy's Mists. In certain areas, I combined the mist with Decor Chucky Finish acrylic paint to create a more opaque color and make some highlights. One thing you must always have in mind is that when you apply many layers of colors, you have to try well between layers, otherwise all colors will mix together in a muddy brown disaster. After applying many layers, it was time to adjust the shadows and emphasize on some areas. Later on, to accent the texture, I did some dry brushing with my lightest colors. I created a flower composition around the face and the mirror. I used paper and fabric flowers, which I glued with E6000. Then, I colored the flowers to make them blend beautifully with the rest of the project.
I created a bright disk behind the mirror and the face to look like a kind of light source, like maybe a full moon. This circular element is a very distinctive feature in most of Mucha's paintings and illustrations. As finishing touch, I used Finavar's wax to add a gold look and some features. As you can see on both edges of the canvas, I created continuous and asymmetric lines that resemble flower stalks. This also is a distinguishing ornamental characteristic of Art Nouveau. Lastly, I did some stamping with black and purple permanent inks to add some fine details on the background. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me your comments and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about this project, I'll be glad to help. In the description box below, you will find a list of the channels of all the artists that participate in this hop. In order to get a chance to win one of the fabulous gifts, please Visit all 12 channels to watch our tutorials, comment and subscribe. To make it easier for you, you will find a link to the next channel at the end of each video. Thank you for stopping by and I wish you all a happy and shiny summer. Bye!